Good evening, Los Santos citizens. Quinn Harrison here, coming to you from in front of what used to be one of the city's most popular eateries, the Purr Cafe. But unfortunately, it has now been closed for over a month. Citizens may have been wondering what happened to this once booming cafe, and Weasel News has been investigating. And while we may never know what happened behind these doors, we can definitely conclude that something peculiar was going on. In this special expose of the Purr Cafe and its rise and fall, we will uncover all the details we can find at Weasel News. Stay tuned. This is Weasel News Investigative Report. The Purr Cafe official opening was August 25, 2022, and everyone in attendance was super thrilled to see what the new cafe had to offer. Upon arrival, Weasel News was greeted with a young lady who seemed very unsure about our presence there. Here is some behind-the-scenes footage of that encounter. Yo, you good, miss? You good? I'm sorry? I see. I see you got eyes on me. Shorty, you good? Uh, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm Quinn Harrison with Weasel News, and I was coming to premiere you guys' is, uh, opening up your new restaurant. How are you feeling today? Oh yeah, I'm, I'm feeling fabulous. How you feeling? So, so you're gonna be recording? That's what you're talking about? Yes, if, if that's okay, just just to show this. Yeah, city. yeah. Don't okay. don't record me. No face, no case. But let me walk you in though. Oh, oh, okay. All right. At the time, I was sure that the lady who met me at the door, who wanted me to keep her face anonymous, was the owner, but later found out her girlfriend Toya Hamilton, who we met later on, was in fact the owner of the cafe. This establishment is actually belongs to my girl or whatever. So, you know, this is the grand opening. Keep in mind, keep my face blurred. No face, no case. Let me go ahead and walk you in. We got little customers up in here. So try not to disturb them, you know, to get their eat on or whatever. You of feel course, me? of course. Appreciate that. Even though this was a grand opening to showcase the restaurant, the lady insisted that certain areas of the restaurant were off limits. So this whole area, you know what I'm saying? You can, you can film all that you need to film up in this area and um we got the back room up here but don't don't you dare go upstairs you feel me that's that's what the office that's the no-nos got it right hey yo dg keep your eyes and ears open we got um some eyes walking around she's gonna scope the scene you know check us out put us on tv or whatever but i um she blurring me out i don't need my face out in the streets like that you feel me Incognito or not, it wasn't long before we found out who all were employed at Per Cafe, as well as the mystery lady. Through conversations and Twitter posts and handles, the ladies deeply involved with the cafe were Tiffany Lewinsky, Divine Grace Zamora or DG, Rocky, and of course the owner, Toya Hamilton. Opening went off without a hitch, and while guests were enjoying an, a meowsing menu of delicious foods, they were unaware of the scheming happening in the background. But Weasel News was there to catch an exclusive recording of a conversation between the mystery lady and the one who referred to herself as Miss G, who we later identified as Rocky. Shorty show came up the stairs, I read a blast ad. <laughs> oh god, okay, we were to give it a 5k. Uh, yeah, that's cool. 5k to cost to get these, um, these, um, phone numbers on the slick tip. Well, yeah, we can talk in that full second, but thank you so much again for coming out to the opening of the Big Per Cafe. We really appreciated you, you know, supporting your community. Um, right. you know, kind of go from there, yeah, see, you know. Yeah, you know what I'm okay, saying? Okay. And try to set up, set up a low key little business meeting, you know what I'm saying? Business interest meeting. For sure, for sure. Are you interested in working? Well, maybe we shouldn't say, we, we're going to say working with the cafe. Like, what, how do we, you know? We I mean, wanna... we, we, initially, what I want to do is just, you know what I'm saying, let, let's meet at the bar. Let's have a, a, a sit down, a little talk. And then, you know what I'm saying, we present what we got going, and them niggas finna work for us. What are you talking about? Oh, that part, that part, that part, for sure. Okay, let me we gotta, we it. gotta, yeah. we gotta make it enticing. We gotta make it so that they want the mood to work that we got, cause we got some good shit. You feel me? Uh, yeah. Sure. We've been cooking some good shit lately, and I feel like if we get more soldiers, more footwork, you know what I'm saying? We we be good. We we get a percentage off top. 
yeah. Or, or they get the bricks and they just move it forth. Hell yeah. I still been thinking about like 10K a brick. What you say? Yeah, 10, 10K, yeah. Offer it. For sure, for sure, for sure. And you better know you're going to double that profit, so. Yeah, well, you you the brains on the math. I don't do them numbers. You got that. I, 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 I just cooked that shit, move that shit, you feel me? Let me eat fries. I feel a little faint. All right, I'm finna uh, add this number in, and then I'm gonna run it, and then um, I'm gonna have you call a number, and you got 3K on you right now, right? Uh, let me see. Yeah, yeah, so, I, got, I, I can do the, five, the full 5K for him. All right, all right, bet. And the numbers they spoke of? We have footage of the one known as Rocky speaking with Dion Woods about this raffle. Unbeknownst to patrons of the restaurant, seems like it was more of a sinister plot many did not know about. Uh, Alright, check it, check it. If y'all ain't seen, we got a raffle going on, $20. No problem, thank you. Unlimited entries. What's the prize? $5,000. $5,000. Hold on. Where do we submit our tiki? Mm -hmm. that's, too, that's too low for y'all. Y'all can submit it right here to Rocky. Yes. She'll take your 20 and your number. Then, in an interesting turn of events, April 23rd, Weasel News received a tip of a potential raid at the cafe, and what started off as a rumor began to unfold right before our eyes. Care, care to tell me what's going on here at the cafe? Um, don't know much. Um, kind of just... Trying to uh, lock down the situation. It's currently a, a raid. spot we witnessed the arrest of the mystery lady we early identified as Tiffany Lewinsky where she stated that Dynasty 8 had paperwork to justify the unknown business dealings we presume was the reason for the raid. information, LSPD eventually released her and arrested an unknown female accomplice who was identified as the per owner, but we could not positively identify her as Miss Toya Hamilton, who was previously identified as such. Then, yeah, you, you, I'm sure you, you should know how it goes. She come down, you know, you can hand up, need to bail, bail her out, you know, get a little bar and extend her room. Yeah, we handle all that down there. Let's go get the picture on the books. And then we get all the paperwork, go down to Dynasty 8, make sure So you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be held against you in the court of law. You have the right to attorney. If you do not have an attorney, we will appoint him for you. Understand your rights? Honey, you smell good. I lied. Well, thank you. Let's put this on, actually. After the female accomplice was arrested, Weasel News witnessed the other suspect leaving the crime scene with an unknown woman who had been standing on the perimeter during the entire altercation.
68, Los Santos's primary real estate company, located on West Eclipse Boulevard, is currently managed by Mr. Draco Miller, and when asked about what his thoughts on the matter and the rate it per, he had no comment. Uh, my name is Quinn Harrison with Weasel News. I'm sure we've met before. You actually sold me my home. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey Quinn, how you doing? Uh, is there a reason why you taking pictures of Donnie's egg? There was like some news that came out and I just was coming to see if you had any comments about it. Some news? I'm not sure exactly what's going on, but Dynasty 8 was spoken about as far as a situation going down at the Per Cafe and someone got arrested, but I wasn't able to get any whoa, information. Whoa, 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 wait. Uh, at, the, at the Per? Yes, sir. And they brought up Dynasty 8? Yes, sir. Something about Specifically paperwork. Specifically said Dynasty 8? Yes, sir. Something about paperwork at, um, at Dynasty 8? No, no, I, I ain't got no, com I ain't got no comment. However, within minutes, we saw none other than LSPD arrive at the office to speak to Mr. Miller. And although we couldn't hear what was said, one can only assume it was about the aforementioned paperwork the ladies of Per alleged were located here at Dynasty Eight. And in an interesting turn of events, weeks later, Weasel News learnt of a police report filed by Mr. Draco Miller where it was reported Dynasty 8 had been ransacked. Files, tapes, and various pieces of paperwork had been strewn about the office. Could this be the work of some unknown assailant covering for said alleged paperwork that has yet to surface as the Per Cafe is still currently shut down and under investigation? Could this be a cover-up by either the ladies of Per or Mr. Draco Miller himself? Will the Per Cafe ever reopen? These are all questions we eagerly await answers for, as Los Santos is still missing out on those delicious catfish tacos and other accoutrements only the Per Cafe had to offer. If you have any information about Per Cafe, please reach out to us at weaseltips at g5m.com or call Weasel News at 224-348-5663 and we respect all wishes for anonymity. And stay tuned as we unfold more of the mystery of the purr. But until then, stay safe, Los Santos. This is Quinn Harrison for Weasel News. Good night.